what you guys how to show your cpu temperature on your taskbar in windows 11 now quite a few people have asked me to do a video on core temp and i used to use this a long time ago but i've moved on uh, to hw info and a bunch of other uh, software which i think is a little bit more advanced than core temp uh, but if you want to use core temp to display your temperature then you can do it does display all of the cores temperature and you can even have it set to display on your taskbar if you want to so let's go ahead and get it installed and i'll show you basically uh, some of the settings and how you can set this up uh, for yourself just when you go to install it be very careful because there is open candy on here as you can see build your kingdom with the good game empire just take the check mark out of that and it doesn't put it onto your desktop and it doesn't install on your computer a lot of software do this to make revenue and again i'm not a big fan of it so this is how you can launch uh, core temp i'll just get it set up on the screen here so you can see and you can see it does display all of the frequencies on uh, the actual screen here and it also tells us the load on here and it tells us the cpu information and a bunch of other things like temperature minimum max and power draw now if we go to the settings pane here inside here you're going to get some settings in here which you might want to enable like enable login on startup or start core uh, temp with windows that's a really good one to check mark we'll do that a little bit later but let's go through some of these and take a look here so start core temp minimize and also display temperatures in fahrenheit if you wish to have them on fahrenheit you've got hide taskbar button as well and you've also got the text hot crucial and labels uh, with the colors here you can change these colors to whatever you like here you've got the notification area here for all cores which is what it's set to at the moment i just find that a little bit too cluttered when you're seeing all of the cores being displayed down on the bottom right hand side you can even put extra icons on here like ram utilization processor load power consumption and processor frequency this will just add far too much down on the taskbar in my opinion and you'll see what i mean when i apply this and show you down there in a second there'll just be so much information down there it will be information overload so let me just quickly apply this and uh, you can see here we do have enable the windows 7 taskbar feature it's even got the windows 7 taskbar feature on there instead of saying windows 10 or windows 11 that's how probably outdated this is so let's go ahead and uh, finish this off and take a look down the bottom you can put a check mark in here don't i taskbar button when minimized uh, if you want to uh, there's some information here and if we go down the bottom you'll see there is a ton of information right here and if i hover over these it will tell you exactly what they are these are all your temperatures for each of the cores and you can also see the load there and also see some of the other features if you want to turn those off you would have to go back in here and uncheck some of these here because obviously there's just too much information being displayed down on the bottom right hand corner of the screen in the taskbar area uh, if you want to leave those on you can do but i'm going to remove these just to show you exactly what it looks like once they've all gone and you should see just one uh, actual core unless you leave all cores selected uh, on the top of the screen here so let me just quickly uncheck these and we'll also apply this and i'll show you down the bottom because we have all cores still you'll see all of the cores are still being displayed here if you just want to display just one core you can put the highest temperature per processor or highest temperature which will just display one temperature on there and you can choose whatever you want there and you've got icon only as well changing the color here you've got a little drop down here to show you some other things you can do so let me just quickly uh, put this into highest temperature here and apply this and then we can have a look down the bottom right hand side and you should see just one temperature here when you hover over it it will tell you all of the other temperatures and i think that's probably the best uh, option available there now you can drag this out into the display here so if you play in window mode or you're using your desktop uh, you can see the actual temperature right there being displayed uh, with core temp so that's how you can do that there now like i said you can change the color and you can also select the font that you want to use if you want to change the font for it you can do and there's also some uh, options here where you can have it starting up when windows starts as well and like i showed earlier it's just a simple case of putting the check mark into this one here where it says uh, start core temp with windows 
and that's under the general settings here once you've done that when you restart windows it it will basically put core temp at the bottom right hand corner there and you'll be able to see all your temperatures for your cpu anyway that is going to be about it so that's basically how you can have those displaying down on the bottom right hand corner i do think there's some better options available out there you can check some of my previous videos on some of those options available if you want to see an updated video on those let me know in the comment section below my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat bye for now